Thank you, my colleagues, for the honor of serving in that tradition as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. I thank you, my colleagues. Again, I want to congratulate all of the new members of Congress, all of you who have been reelected, but especially the new majority and the new Speaker of the House, John Boehner. Now the House will be led by a proud son of Ohio, a man of conviction, a public servant of resolve, and a legislative leader of skill. Speaker Boehner is a leader who has earned the confidence of his conference and the respect of his colleagues in the Congress. He is a man of faith, faith in God, faith in our country, and faith in his family. It is very important for us in acknowledging that, for us to acknowledge his family, his wife, his, Mrs. Boehner is, <laughs> yeah. him, we congratulate and thank Debbie for sharing him with us, and Lindsay and Tricia, and indeed the entire Boehner family. Thank you and congratulations to all of you. Now, recognizing our roles under the Constitution, united in our love of our country, we now engage in a strong symbol of American democracy the peaceful and respectful exchange of power. I now pass this gavel, which is larger than most gavels here, but the gavel of choice of Mr. Speaker Boehner. I now pass, pass this. <laughs> I now pass this gavel and the sacred trust that goes with it to the new speaker. God bless you, Speaker Boehner. It's still just me. <laughs> uh, Madam Speaker, thank you for your kind words uh, uh, and thank you for your service to this institution. Uh, secondly, I want to welcome all of our new members and their families on what is a very special day. All of us who have been here uh, remember vividly that first day uh, that, uh, that we served here. And uh, I think any of us can tell you that uh, you'll never forget today.